This drone right here is completely 3D printed. We just found a frame online and using our 3D printer next door in our R&D sort of space, I am working closely with one of our R&D repair guys, Ian, who you'll see throughout the video, we have decided to make up this drone as sort of our first custom project, custom build on the channel. Um, as you can see, it's an interesting shape and um, it's unlike anything I've seen or anything we've done. In this video, we're going to take you from the 3D printing stage all the way until its first test flight. So make sure to stay tuned and we'll crack on with the video. First off, a huge milestone was hit on the channel recently. We managed to hit a thousand subscribers, so we can't thank you enough. Um, everyone that's come with us on this journey so far, it's, it's been really fun um, and hopefully we can keep it going. So if you're new, please subscribe and uh, we'll keep bringing fun videos straight to you guys. So at Edinburgh Drone Company, we've had a 3D printer for a little while. It's a Prusa i3 Mark III. Um, and we sort of mucked about with it, testing little accessories and things like that, but we wanted to finally use it to create a drone, um, and specifically this FPV drone. Hello everyone. So this is the frame of the first FPV drone that we 3D printed. So we're actually changing it because on this design, the props were too close, much better. This is the, the new one that we 3D printed. So this took for the frame about five hours and 56 minutes to print. So I've already started, obviously I disassembled the old one and started putting the, the new motors onto the new frame. So the, the motors are the FPV, 2207.5 motors and they're, if I just double check here, 2450 kilovolts. So they're quite powerful motors. Um, so the next stage is, obviously we got to get the flight controller. So it's a T motor um, flight controller. Uh, it's a four in one. So it's a mini F7 and F45A for the ESC. And then we've got the uh, Cadex FPV air unit micro version. So we'll be putting that into the new frame. We're gonna have to do some modifications, of course, to this frame. But yeah, that should be it. I'm just uh, getting everything ready for it. So we're here to do a bit of testing on a farm where we have permission to fly near our office. Um, Ian's talked you through in the office the 3D print and the final parts that are going to come together. So he's going to talk you through the final touches as the drone is ready for its first test flight. Right. So it looks a lot more like a complete FPV drone now. So we've got the flight controller wired in there to the motors. We've got the Cadex unit hooked up. Uh, we've got obviously our battery right there. Um, we've got the props put on. Uh, we've hooked it up to Betaflight, and it's basically just a standard calibration in there. Um, and we'll see uh, how it flies on that and do some tweaking if it needs to get tweaked. You feeling confident about the frame? Yeah. Yeah, don't want another six no, hours of a, watching it printing. It's a very light frame and should have a pretty good center of gravity with everything being. It's quite narrow, it looks like yeah. an F1 car. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get the A2S up for a general field of view. I'll put the camera on us and I'm also going to follow him with the avatar for this takeoff. So if it crashes, we'll have every angle. Yeah, hopefully we don't crash into each other. Um, without further ado, let's get in the air and see how it does. What a majestic dog. <laughs> If you're enjoying this video so far, um, we plan to do maybe more custom projects, custom builds. Let us know if there's anything you'd like to see. I think maybe what we'd like to try next is maybe a slightly bigger drone, maybe even a, a seven inch quad, 
and where we can put on multiple payloads, something interesting like that, push our 3D printer to the very limits, and maybe even develop this and make it uh, even better. But uh, let us know what you think, and let's get on to its first flight. Okay, Ian is ready. I'm gonna get the avatar just airborne at the moment. Right. Then you just take off when you want. One second. Taking off. Oh wait. I'll give you a, a shout. Okay. Okay, take off when ready. Try not to go too quick. <laughs> it's flying well though. It does, it flies really well. Do you want to describe how it feels and stuff compared to other FPVs you've flown? Uh, this one actually feels very nimble. Nimble? Do you think the more like sort of straight design of it? Yeah, it just, it turns really well. I mean, it feels really stable. Oh, I see you. <laughs> You're not going to be following me. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I have no Oh, I see you again. Whoa! <laughs> I need to set this up for. Oh, this thing. <laughs> I'm like right above you. Woo! Yay! Nailed it. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled it over, but hopefully it's all good. <laughs> Does the dog approve? Do you approve? Oh, dog think approves. You, I think he approves. So the first flight all went well. Talk us through it, Ian. So, uh, yeah. So I've flown the ProTech before. Uh, ProTech 35D Cine Loop. And this would be the first five inch FPV that I've flown. So obviously we said we hooked it up to beta flight so it's got the standard DGI presets for five inch frame. So standard uh, filters, uh, all the PIDs are standard and the presets are all standard and really it flies pretty well and pretty stable. I did some macro. I don't want to go too crazy yet and crash it. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a pretty, it's actually a really quick drone too. Um, yeah, I'm done pretty awesome. good. So. Um, yeah, I'm glad we didn't crash it because it's sort of our first custom project on the yes. channel. I think if you like it, hit the like button or subscribe. If you want to see more custom builds, see us try anything on the 3D printer, anything FPV, just let us know in the comments. And, uh, We'll both make sure to catch you on the next one. Yeah. See you guys. <laughs>